Welcome to the latest episode of Drone News, where I fill you in on drone-related stories of interest to you. GoPro used the excitement of the 2018 CES show to provide cover for making a difficult announcement regarding their Karma drone. DigitalTrends.com reports that GoPro has announced it is stopping production of their Karma drone and will exit the drone market in 2018. The company has also dropped the price of the Hero 5, Hero 6, and Hero 5 session cameras. GoPro says it will sell off its remaining inventory of Karmas with a $200 price break when bundled with a Hero 6 and will continue to support its Karma customers for the foreseeable future, whatever that means. I really hate this. I love the idea of an integrated system that gave users a single mechanism for gimbal-stabilized aerial and ground-based photography. A few years ago, that would have been a dream setup for me. Having stabilization for video is what got me into shooting video in the first place. You can point the finger at a lot of reasons for this product failure. The Karma had a disastrous release thanks to a recall due to problems with batteries becoming disconnected during flight. It took way too long for GoPro to get this fixed. Even after it was fixed, the Karma was too expensive for a drone with its capabilities. Had it been released in 2014, it would have been much more competitive with other drones on the market. This holds true for the GoPro 5 and 6 as well. Other action cameras have cut into GoPro's market with cameras that cost a fraction of the price. Then you think about all the people who shoot pictures and videos with cell phones and you can see why GoPro has a real problem on its hands. Finally, in my opinion, the GoPro video quality just doesn't measure up to what you get with a DJI or Unique. Unique and DJI have set the bar way too high in terms of image quality for many people to accept what you get from a GoPro camera. You can probably expect to see Karmas getting discounted even more as dealers sell off their stock. The problem is, the drone started at such a high price that even with discounts, it is still probably going to be too expensive when compared to the Spark, Mavic, Autel X-Star, or Typhoon H. Sorry to be a downer for GoPro fans, but it is what it is. Fortunately, I've got some fun information to pass along about new drones from DJI, Autel, and Unique, and I'll post that information very soon. Hey guys, don't forget, acesdeals.biz is offering a discount to viewers of my videos on everything in their store. Just use the coupon code listed in the description below. If you use the code to buy a drone, Aces Deals will make a contribution to this channel. Save money and support this channel so I can produce more videos in the future. That's it for this episode of Drone News. Thanks for watching my video. I've set up a Facebook group to make it easier for us to talk about drones and arrange opportunities to fly together. Follow the link in the description below to sign up for the group. On screen you'll find a playlist with many more tutorial videos on drones, so please check them out. Before you go, be sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to this channel so you know when more videos are released. Thanks for watching.